Welcome to the den. Hey, Charlie Knights! Welcome! <sighs> Last time we learned we had to come all the way back up here, so I kept my promise I met you up here. Probably should have brought some water with us, but eh, oh well. We're already not getting the super, super big ending. So our big key that we unlocked and then the power outage can now be used to open that up. And the key that we got from the cellar room there unlocks this room, which I think this is fun. If you actually come here during the power outage, the phone's ringing and it's, I think, a toad. And you can choose if you want to be Bowser or some other one else. So in this room, you got to open up these chests here. And take out Mr. Bones! Which I believe is what, two or three chests? Yeah, three of them. Well, maybe it's only two people, though. Not gonna hit me with your bones! Uh, there we go. That's actually a pretty easy room, now that I think of it. But you don't necessarily have to take them out either, unless you want all the booze. Right. I wonder what. I wonder if there is a, a max score in this game, or if some of it's a little random. Is he in here? Maybe he's under the table. I never did understand what those little lumps on the tables are. Is he in the telephone? There we go, he's in here. Alright, boomerang! Coming back at ya! Does that even exist anymore, boomerang? It was like, uh, for old time cartoons, like Flintstones and stuff. Is that even a real room? Okay, yes it is, but it is locked. So, another boo that we'll have to come back for. Ah, well. And we have the key for this one. This is one of my favorite uh, rooms. It's it's just very cool. Very ominous. Gotta get all these cuckoo clocks going. And that gets these guys going. Now, if you can get them all at the same time, that is the best. But that is very tricky to do. Because uh, they try to shoot you with their little cork guns. Stop shooting me. Try to get them as well as we can. Stop shooting me! <laughs> Just shooting me at point blank, guys. That's not fair. Well, we're slowly getting them all down. I think they're all at about half health now. Oh, sweet. Yep, we got two going. Oh, we almost had the third. But if you can kind of get them while you're sucking up one of the other ones, that makes this boss fight a lot easier. Getting far away is also good. I think we've got this guy cornered. Whoa. Stay away. Get all the way over here so the other one can't get us. Take that. That's kind of creepy. Just a, a decapitated doll head there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I guess you also have a toy soldier there kind of strung up from the ceiling. I can see why they didn't light that one up too well. Oh, no. Oh. I was going to say, is the boo hiding in the decapitated doll head? Alright, of course. Where did Boo go? Is he in here? Is he in the table? Maybe. Where is he? Alright, come out, come out wherever you are, Boo, because I apparently cannot find you. It's like the mercy rule. 
eventually it'll give up. It's in one of these, come on. There we go. The six o'clock booze. Come on. 300's just so tricky to get. You gotta chase them room to room. But hey, hey, we're not doing too bad here. All right, at least you just went to the other room. It's when they go in the hallway that it gets really tricky here. So we got about half last time. That's that's pretty good. Let's see if we can finish them off. Which it's not looking so good. Oh, maybe. Come back. Okay. Good. Go back to the other big room. Don't go to the hallway. <laughs> All right. Round three. I think we've got him this time, guys. What do you say? Yep. Good. At least he didn't go to a room that I couldn't get to him at. All right, we're at 41 booze. Our next step is to go to the roof. Aha! Now up here, there's a little fire. And you got your little dancing guys. Well, I was trying to get them both at the same time. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, that was a really good opportunity to get four at the same time. <laughs> well, we got two, but I don't think we got partners. So now we got two other ones chasing us. <laughs> oh man, this isn't going so well. <laughs> they are very upset with us. Come on, let's get all of them. I think we got like five there. Alright, we'll take these guys' masks. And take them out! Got them. Alright. So now you got your fire ghost that we're just gonna sit here and burn because we can. Burn. And this one we won't make suffer. Maybe he's gonna punch us. We will. Fire protection. Got him. And then we get a new treasure up here, which is on this side. But since this house is symmetrical, we better check that other side, too. Got it. So, third floor. Alright, so that is kind of where we are. We just need to go back down. So, most people will just go straight there because you got the key. What else do you need? However, it is... This is a kind of a secret. You never have to visit this area in the game. But we're going to go ahead and show it off here. If you remember seeing that boarded up door as you were kind of walking by, uh, this is how you get in there. You don't actually, you know, undo that door. You just kind of got to fall down this chimney here. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus. I think that would hurt his butt pretty bad. All right. Now this is a, another secret treasure room. This one actually has treasure in it, though. The last treasure room we found wasn't quite as good. And this is also where you get a key, I believe. <laughs> Boo! Fire! Now, I think that was a bad move, because that's one of those ghost guys that gives you a lot of money. And I think you have to suck him up to get his money. Oh, that's a shame. Wasn't thinking there. That's alright. It was worth it to burn. I didn't know you could burn regular ghosts. That's what you get. Burn! <laughs> There's something satisfying about doing this. So now we just got that stupid guy. Where is he? I can hear him. You're burning too. That's probably the easiest way to take those guys out. 
Awesome. We will open this up now. Grab us some cash. And this is a non-required key. A non-required key to uh, get somebody called Sue P. Now, this is the only way to get out of this room. You have to undo that mirror. I guess we better make sure we got all the treasure. Oh, yep, there's one. Not a lot of money, but as you can see, you cannot get out that way. I don't know, do you get anything for... Ah. Uh, I didn't know if you got anything for lighting a fire there or not. But you take this, and you do this, and that's the only way to get out. If you don't know how to do that, you're going to be very frustrated because you can't save, and you can't get out. So now we need to go back to kind of where we just were, but on the other side of that door. So down the hallway we go, and up the stairs one more time. And we will go ahead, we'll go ahead and go all the way through and do the extra boss here. Most people never even meet Soupy. On their first playthrough anyways, but this is where her little room is. And you get stuck in here as soon as you're in here. They do give you fire, and they give you water. I forget what kind of ghosts we fight here. Because I know, I know we need water for this boss. Where are the ghosties? Huh. Dude, oh, I think I remember. You got to water the plant, maybe? Well, I get you a gold brick. Watering the plants just gets you tons of money. Is this... Yeah, that's... Gated off. Oh, I th maybe we need to light these candles. I haven't done this mission quite as much as the other ones, so bear with me. There we go. Woo! I just want to get them all at the same time. And in trying to get every single one, <laughs> I missed every single one. Well, that wasn't so bad. I guess we need the water. <sighs> Come on! Hit up with water! Right, just pee on this guy. Pee, pee, pee. And that will... Light the room up as we just saw. It's not a hard room. I guess figuring it out is the hardest part. Because those candles are pretty hidden. Bolivia, I hate you. I guess I don't know what that one's referencing. So feel free to leave down in the comments. Oh. Please don't go into the hidden room. Please don't go into the sealed room. Thank you. If he went in there, I would be very upset. <laughs> Got him. Up to 42. That is the answer for how many booze we need. And that's where uh, he tells you that you should water the plants. I think I want to burn them. That'd be a kind of a cool touch to the game if they turned brown. All right. So this one... When I first discovered this boss, I had no clue what to do. And I'm pretty sure I had to initially look this one up. But once you know what she's called, it's pretty easy. Do not try to wake me. Go away! So naturally, we're going to try to wake her. Now, her name's Sue P, so you got to pee on her. Make her think she peed the bed. Then she gets upset with you. 
<laughs> Let's get you going. Yeah, this whole room's upside down if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and eventually it does turn right side up once you eat her. Oh yeah, there we go. Mr. Clown, go away. You're ruining everything. I think we'll be all right this round. Got her. There we go. And now you're like, how am I supposed to get on the ceiling? There's no little tiles. All you have to do is leave and come back. And everything's back to normal. And for that, you get a lot of money. Dun, 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 dun. And now we have to find a boo. Is he there? Uh oh. Boonita. Oh, it'd be very nice if we would not get stuck on the bed. Alright, that's alright. You can stay in there. Perfectly fine. Just gotta get him. Don't let him get into the hallway. Good. Got him. That's 43. All right, well, we took Sue P out today and we got the key to go back to the third floor and into the armory room. So with that, Troglodytes, we will call it a day. I've been Trogly, this has been The Den, and you've been the Troglodytes. We'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.